coordination and coordination amongst those two countries so there is equal winning for all involved. The challenge I would offer is I would love to see an Indian built application. You're clearly capable of doing it. You have the connectivity, you have the data centers, and you have the knowledge. Let's, let's jointly focus on that. I think because of the scale of the opportunity, we're going to solve all the trade issues and connectivity issues and people will sort that out. To me, the real win is when the universities and the entrepreneurs and so forth treat India and the United States as though they're virtually connected, back and forth uh, uh, without even thinking about it. And that's when we get the best of both systems. I'm quite confident, by the way, with the kind of growth rate that you have in the next five to 10 years on your way to five trillion, um, that you'll get there. I'm quite confident that the integration of the two, because of our shared heritage, heritage of the English language, um, because of the many things that we share in common, and of course the global scene, which is likely to drive America and India closer together, I'm quite confident that this is possible. I think it's up for us to make it happen. Countries are trying to uh, develop national restrictions on the use of data and so forth, which makes sense to them politically, uh, but may not work in the way that the internet works. And so we deal with this all the time. Uh, to me, the more interesting question about data is how valuable it is. We know that a certain amount of data is valuable because we have to train these systems. But it's not obvious that we need all the world's data in order to, for example, do healthcare. This, it's probably the case that the AI algorithms that we're building will be able to be successful without all the world's data. So before you decide that the only important thing is data, I think that the real value is in the development of these algorithms and the talent to build them. The hardest part of my world right now is getting computer scientists and mathematicians who are clever enough to use these new tools to solve problems. I can tell you that um, the stuff that I described earlier is relatively straightforward now, but the great challenges of the world, things like protein folding, which uh, in our case, uh, DeepMind has been making a great deal of progress on, require enormous insight of how to solve the problems. And that is the frontier of where we are going.